Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we only talk about what is most obviously very crucially important. Today on This Is Important... I got hot dog water for me and my buddies. <laughs> Bitch, I know y'all had Triscuits at the house. Yummy, yummy for my tummy. I think the salinity would fuck your butthole up, dude. <laughs> Let's go. Hello. Hot damn. Hi. Damn. Gladiators ready. Here come the Czechoslovakians. We pour so we rock the mic with pots and pans. Let's go. Oh, there it is. Adam, what are you rapping? I was uh, I was rapping uh, Blake and Kyle's uh, Czechoslovakian rap album. Sugar in the Raw. Uh, that was one of my favorite songs for many years. Not only is Kyle my favorite actor of all time, he's one uh-huh. of my favorite uh, rappers of all time. Oh, well. and, so. and if you listen to that um, song, I believe I use getting caught in nets just like pets as one of my hot fire lyrics. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. It was, he was going to join FEMA with that line. It was it hot damn or goddamn? Was it goddamn? It was, I think it was Boom, hot damn when live, hot. goddamn recorded, probably. Oh, shit. Yeah, so you could pass that to your friends, but when your mom's listening, it's hot damn. They had right. a Czechoslovakian uh, rap group in, we talked I about high it. school. Yeah, we, we talked about it briefly on the pod. Sugar in the Raw, named after the sugar packet. <laughs> Basically just rapping, dressed in weird outfits, claiming to be straight out of Czechoslovakia. Just lying. <laughs> you better check yourself. But you're, that's, that's your heritage though, right? Correct. And yes. Alec, you as well? Yes, at least that's what I was told. Mm-hmm. Right. But my, my dad claims my mom's side of the family is just Polish, but I, I refuse right. to believe that. You might want to 23 and me that. Yeah. Yeah, you could, you could get to the bottom of that. What is that process of 23 and me? What do you do? You have to give some blood or something or I've never spit. Spit. Yeah. Jizz in a cup. Yeah, you wake up and you spit like the first thing. You just like <laughs> and you yeah. fill it up and then you send it away and then they're like, "Hey, this is what you are." You just sign your life, I'm in your name and uh they Yeah, gotcha. what is uh what other what intel do they have on you if you do that? They got your DNA, so then when you when we all are going to commit a horrific crime, probably in our 50s and 60s, right. and then we're mm-hmm. going to try to get away with it for 30 years, just going like, I just got to get away with it until I die, right. uh, mm-hmm. that we won't be able to. because. So you know they've caught me. people this way, right? You know from, that's the whole thing? From really? 23 and Me? Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, they found like old uh, like serial killers and stuff, right? Yeah, I want to say that um, Patton Oswald's. Uh, wife who passed yeah, away like she right. discovered some murderers through that here we go we got a chat coming in from the producers who the know producers things. are saying the golden gate killer the golden gate killer the golden gate golden gate let's all read it at the same time ready the gold, golden, the golden, golden gate, gate killer, killer was, was found, found this way. way i like how when we read together we all <laughs> are just like like second graders mm-hmm. who don't can't quite we're, put the words together. We're all waiting for each other to get on the same speed, so our speeds flux so hard. Who is the <laughs> slowest reader? Who do you think is the slowest reader? Because I'm, <laughs> I'm fast as me. hell. Nobody's slower than me. I'm pretty fucking slow, dog. I don't okay. know. I'm re- uh, No, I would say I, we're, I think we're all really, like, really slow readers. Bullshit. Like, almost, <laughs> uh, like, are they, do they have yeah. a mental <laughs> handicap level? <laughs> Because remember when we were writing Workaholics okay. yep. and we were we were like, okay, we're all going to go read the scripts, note it up, and come back. It would always – and then and then we had other writers in our writer's room that went to Harvard, and they would read the thing and be done in 30 minutes, fully right. noted, ready to go. Mm-hmm. And then we would stumble in an hour later mm-hmm. having read the exact same thing. Yeah, but was that because they read it? Or because they read it and pushed themselves to find the best punch-ups. Huh? And was the reason you were taking so long to read because you had Pornhub on your laptop as well? <laughs> better question. Yeah. Very, very good. Are you asking Hello. me? <laughs> He's asking you. Here, Are you this asking? is what I'll say. I, I, have, I have been, I was measured, like my, in high school, mm-hmm. when I was probably like a junior or something, uh, my parents had me like, take some tests to see if I needed, like had a learning disability. Oh my gosh. And they were like, he might be dyslexic. He reads at a 10 year old level. You are so dumb. (laughs) 
<laughs> when you yeah, were, right? wait, when you were what age? When you were fourteen? Yeah. You? No, when I was seventeen. Seventeen, you were seventeen. You read at a ten-year-old's level. Yeah. So could you not read? Like, if it was a difficult word to read, you like would just give up on it, or or you would just read slow, slowly. Uh, no, like you know a word, but I'm just I'm not. I don't read quickly. And my major thing is, uh, and guys at home, I know this is super fascinating. Uh, mm. The major They're thing like, for me. I know he seems like the smart one, but maybe he's the dumbest of them all. <laughs> That's Hold what you're up. Home are thinking. The Hold comprehension, up. the comprehension and like, like if you read a whole story and then it's like, so tell me the details. If you quizzed me on what I just read, I would have no mm -hmm. idea what you're talking about. Well, I'm that yes. way if I read it aloud because then it's just a performance. Like whenever I would read uh, in school, I hated, well, actually I enjoyed reading aloud because I had liked to perform. But then if I had to be quizzed on whatever I just read aloud, I'm like, right. oh no, I was just kind of concentrating on like cool ways to say the words. Yeah, I was just making noises <laughs> for words. <laughs> yeah. I was just kind of concentrated on the performance of um, this science experiment we're doing. I think I told you guys this, when I was taking the ACTs, and I think the last part is reading comprehension. Like you read a thing and then it asks you questions. Mm -hmm. I fell asleep. Mm. <laughs> While testing? Woke up, woke up at the end of it. Or like, or no, somebody came and woke me up and they were like, hey. And I was like, oh, shit. Because I was like, let me just They're take like, like a minute hey, nap. Uh, this is the biggest test of your life. Yeah, I know. I, know. I remember not digging that either. Why were you so tired though? I was probably swimming and like hadn't slept mm. and... I was like, let me just put my head down for a second. I'll wake up like fully refreshed. And then it was like just about over. And I was like, <laughs> like I didn't finish it. <laughs> we all like oh. got like drunk the night before in like <laughs> defiance of the ACTs. We were like, give me a hell yeah. Sure. That's a, a buck the system type thing. Yeah. We were, we, yeah. I remember being very hungover for the PSATs. Yeah. We were very hungover for the ACTs. I remember we played beer dice in my friend's basement. Uh, oh, great yeah. game. Uh, oh, yeah. And just just uh, came in, just fat-headed, had to do the ACTs. <laughs> and then uh, I, I took it, it in the seventh grade because I, I'd, like, tested really high on, like, the cat tests or whatever they make you test. CATs? Seventh, 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 seventh and eighth grade. What was and that I tested really high in that. But then... I think I was like two points higher or maybe three points higher as a junior in high school. Like mm. I didn't get any smarter. Right, yeah. right, right. Mm. Like I peaked in seventh and eighth grade. And then after that, it, my, my test scores were like, eh, okay. You learned nothing. In second or third grade, I was 98th percentile on the cat test or something like that. And then it got real. School got real. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, lo like long divisions, books with chapters. I'm fucked out. me up. Long division fucked my world no. up. As soon as they started, and then as soon as they were like, uh, A plus B equals C, like any sort of algebra, I was like, fuck, fuck your whole life up. Exponents are a bitch. Yeah, the little <laughs> tiny numbers on top of the bigger numbers. Oh, those are. <laughs> is that what an exponent is? Yeah. Exponents, I thought, yeah. were like uh, when letters are in place of numbers. That's a variable, isn't it? Oh, damn. Yeah, oh, boy. Oh, shit. Get your <laughs> PEMDAS on. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Do you really know that? <laughs> Who knows about their PEMDAS, baby? Uh, yeah, Hold up. Do you, <laughs> Do you really know that, Kyle? Is that really what it is? This is what's coming to my brain right now, yeah. No, I think you're right. I think you're uh, right. God, that's so tight. The only thing of math that I can remember is uh, foiling, front, outer, inner, last. Okay. That's yeah, exactly. And I don't even know what that means or how that... That's when you're yeah, dealing with parentheses, yeah. I believe. Yes, order right. of operations. Uh, I'm just going for it. Yeah. Hey, is that what they call parentheses in math, though? Are they still parentheses? Yes. Parentheticals? Because yeah. look, yeah, that's what, let's see if we can run down PEMDAS. Parentheses, right. Pro exponents. Exponents, multiplication. Multiplication, division. division addition, subtraction. Subtraction, there you go. That's your order PEMDAS. of operations. What did, I don't know what just happened. What just this, happened? This is the order you do your math problem in if it has all these things. So if you right. see parentheses, you solve that shit right out the gate. That's the P. Then you hit the exponent. That's right. the little numbers up top. Solve that now. Then you then multiply. Then you do the M. The M is the multiply. Divide, add that shit up, subtract. Then you got your crack rock, dude. Come on. 
<laughs> That's exactly right. Exactly right. Blazer, I'm super proud of that. The word exponent <laughs> is tight. I'm going to start throwing around the word exponent. <laughs> That's a hard ass rap name. Exponent. Ooh. Exponent, oh. sound, exponent X sounds like, to you. Exponent. like somebody you, you used to argue with. <laughs> Oh, that's my that's my exponent. I think we've got our math teacher thing. It's like, <laughs> first you got a parentheses, then you got an exponent. Oh. Gonna give it to you. Exponent's <laughs> <laughs> gonna dun, give it dun, to dun, you. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> if that's how you start off your very first math class, you just go bump, 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 bump. bump. Exponent. Am admittedly, <laughs> if they did that, if I had a cool teacher like that, I would have been more invested. I had some bunk ass teachers that were just like all salty that they had to teach. All these kids that are fucking yeah. idiots that don't understand math. I was so I would get so angry because if I don't understand, I hear it, I hear it in your voice right now. <laughs> if I don't understand something, uh, as I'm sure you guys, I'm have pissed seen, now. I get pissed now. I, yeah, get, I get angry that I can't fucking wrap my head around sucks. it. And math <laughs> specifically, I was like, absolutely fuck the world. I did yeah. have one. I only failed one class. It was math, but that was purely off the strength that my math teachers. Fucking breath smell like doo -doo. really, doo -doo. Doo -doo. Yeah, really, really bad. I remember uh, that, what, dude. What, what level math? Uh, well, I was held back, so it was like math one hundred or something. You were held back. <laughs> you weren't in, held back in math class. I was. You were held back in math. You were. Oh, yes. Hold up. Did oh, you do what I? We never had the so same. Hold up. Can, we never had the same math Wait. class. That's right. But but did you do what I had to do, which is can <laughs> <laughs> you failed or you failed the class, so then you had to retake that same class again, right? Yes, yeah, so you know and how then you, you took it in summer school later or what? Yep, actually, I that's what I did. summer school yeah. was a whole nother shit. I did have to take summer school, and that yeah. was the yeah. school, and that was the most <laughs> summer school. You had, to, you had to take English too? <laughs> yeah, maybe go, hey, maybe go take it this summer, bro. <laughs> Finish him. Urgh. Yeah, no, summer school was one of the my worst youth hangovers of my entire life. It what, was the whole the summer? <laughs> I know, I'm like, what? <laughs> there was one day that I had to attend summer school, and it was the night after one of our buddies, Teddy, drank so much and only ate chicken nuggets and, like, was sitting in, a like, a lazy boy and barfed like, like a fountain all over this oh, our homie's aunt's, like, house where everything was white, and he just threw up pink everywhere. Oh, and I have what kind of sauce? What what kind of sauce is he rocking on those uh sweet and sour? Probably just like ketchup, right? It must have been yeah, like some ketchup shit. <laughs> <laughs> if you dump your nuggets in ketchup, <laughs> by the way, you are a fucking weirdo. You're crazy, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Absolutely no, disagree. A psychopath. Absolutely no. disagree. Crazy. No. A weirdo. You, what if you what if that's all you got? Ketchup's delicious. It's the best condiment. Chicken and ketchup? Chicken and ketchup is crazy. Ke chicken and ketchup is yeah. Doo -doo. Well, Doo -doo. yeah, if it's grilled chicken, yes, I totally uh, respect that. But if it's a breaded chicken, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. And ketchup, Ugh. and you mix it with I the mean, ranch. Yeah. I definitely yeah, agree that thing. I definitely agree that barbecue sauce is better on the chicken. Thank you. Hey, I agree. Yeah, I'm not saying it's my number one. Hey, but wait, hold up. It, Obviously, ranch and barbecue sauce are the leaders here. Yeah, but if you only have ketchup, I'm not even saying barbecue sauce is better. I'm saying ketchup is wrong completely. Yes, I am saying I'm taking hard stance. If you put ketchup on chicken in any form, you are a fucking what, psychopath. Okay, what I'm if it's you. the last thing in the fucking fridge? Last thing in the fridge. Finish. Yeah, but hey, but y'all sit down to wipe your ass, so I can't trust nothing y none of y'all say, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. 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 All right. okay. okay. <laughs> hey, what? if the ketchup is what? the last thing in the fridge, though, okay, are you going no no scoop? You're not putting no sauce on the fucking chicken? Well, that's a that's different That's what I want to know. But it's not chicken. It's nuggets. It's a different thing. Chicken nuggets, fine. Same thing. It's not just chicken. Okay. Fine. I just want to know if ketchup- It's not a rotisserie chicken. Everyone knows we're talking about <laughs> chicken nuggets. This is not math class. You do not need to get <laughs> pissed now. <laughs> I'm pissed now. There we go. I'm I just want to know. I want to know if ketchup is the last thing in the fridge and you got nuggets and you cooked them and they're on the plate and they're ready to be dipped in something. Are you going ketchup or not? Naked. I'm going naked. Wow. Oh, we got a naked man. Well, let me ask you this. <laughs> let me ask you. If I'm going naked, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm naked man. Naked and afraid, yeah. Let me ask you this. Where are the nuggets from? Where are the nuggets from? What do you mean? Like fast food style or garbage uh, grocery store? Yeah, Tyson. Are we talking I, I made Tyson in the oven? 
I feel like no. I used to do Tyson uh, what's all the that time. Farm? Banquet? What's the farm? Am I making banquet nuggets? Yeah, I fucked I fucked with some Tyson. Oh, Foster's Farm? Foster's Apple Apple Farm Applewood Farm? That's some man. rich guy shit, rich. man. What the fuck? Yeah, y'all are rich. That's how we keep it out <laughs> here in California. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. saying banquet nuggets. Yeah. Banquet nuggets. Yeah, I'm rich. I might go <sighs> no ketchup. I might go no ketchup. For sure. But it what do I don't have teriyaki? Well, all right. No, you no, have hey, nothing. You have soy sauce. Agree. You have soy sauce. Ooh. <laughs> like Adam, do you put ketchup, do you put ketchup yeah, yeah. on fish? Yeah. <laughs> you have soy sauce. Do I put ketchup on fish? No. Uh, no, I would use tartar sauce on fish sticks. But I'm saying, would you yeah. it, would you go tartar fish sauce. naked or would you rather be tartar like, sauce I need something bomb. and put some ketchup on? Have you ever put a ketchup on fish? I, I can't. I don't. I didn't eat a lot of fish growing up. You didn't have fish uh, well, sticks? Well, then you should know because most recently is. I had fish sticks, and I think I always we always had like tartar sauce for that. I, I don't fish really remember. So breaded fish sticks, okay. Yeah. For me, I think the same thing. I don't think I put a lot of ketchup on the fish sticks. I think it was a tartar sauce's job. That being said, <laughs> it doesn't sound that bad to me. I think I would fuck it up. A fish stick into a little ketchup. Yummy, Ugh. yummy. For Weird and wild stuff. That's yeah, it's because the bread. The bread tastes good in ketchup, so it'll be fine. <laughs> Look, yeah, bread tastes great, dude. I, 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 I think you're right. I think ketchup can taste good on almost anything, but that's where you need to kind of look inward and go, yes, I you. won't do that. That yeah, crosses a line. I agree, Anders. I agree, Anders. Do you fuck with ketchup <laughs> on mac and cheese? <laughs> yes. Have you uh, ever that's done my that? Trash. <laughs> I can yeah. do that. I'm I'm not doing doing that. that. That's <laughs> if I, this is how I'll do it. If I have a whole like <laughs> pot to myself, I'll do half no ketchup. Then like the second half, it's all ketchup for old men. Let's go. <laughs> all ketchup for Yo, old men. Let me ask you something. Who here? Did you eat? If you ever had spaghettios growing up. Did yeah. you guys have SpaghettiOs? Oh, every damn day with the meatballs. With the meatballs. But di- Okay, meatballs, but not the not right, hot dude. dog. We get it. <laughs> the hot dogs, I had that too. <laughs> yeah, that. With the hot dogs? That shit's delicious. What are you talking about? I'd eat that right now. Uh, no. Mm-mm. That's actually delicious. I'm having that for dinner. That is suspect. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Think about the hot dog. Adam's okay. in. Adam's hot so dog hot, quality dude. is all, already questionable. <laughs> exactly. Think about the quality of hot dog they're slicing up in yeah. the SpaghettiO cans. I know. I know. It's probably pretty It's probably pretty bad, dude. Like, what Goodbye. is that? What is that? Dude, that is botulism. That is botulism. For sure it is. Good call, Blake. Yeah, but also you ate it growing up, correct? Let's, I let's step it up. Spaghetti you ate it growing is, up. Yes. And, and, I was hey, up. and can I say, you're strapping, Blake. When I look at your body, I'm like, that boy's strapping. That's he a body have, built He must have by. had built by hot dogs. He must have. A body built by hot dogs. <laughs> what, what was the dumb quote in Workaholics? Was our hot dogs um, as good as they say they are? <laughs> yeah, it's something about like our hot dogs yeah, like, <laughs> as good as I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's you're making a documentary. <laughs> well, it was it was it was funny. It was it was cool. We should go back and and watch that one. I remember you end up with a gun filled with ketchup somehow. <laughs> I don't know That's how right. that Sounds how right. that went down. Can't remember how that happened. Ugh. Um, the hot dog spaghettios is a no no. That's a yeah, no no. That's a no no. Uh, Chef Boyer D, shout out, raised me. What about as far yeah. as you know, when you were growing I mean, up, did not you? Not a no no. It's did, a yes yes. <laughs> did y'all oh, ever get uh, cold hot dogs? Were you ever served cold hot dogs for snacks? I didn't. Uh, I'll go <laughs> Absolutely. And what is wrong with this? We're saying it like it's gross. I'm going to feed this my kids. Some, wait, what? No, for sure. We got. Yeah, <laughs> so many cold hot dogs. Are you, are you serious? Is, I will yes, eat one thousand right. hot dogs in one week and finally answer the question: Are hot dogs as healthy as they say they are, or are they just okay for you? And that is wow. the and I stand by it. Yeah, that's great, Durs. You didn't. You, I got served uh, raw hot dogs from the yeah. from the fridge, but we we get the ones with yeah. the cheese in it. What are you talking about? Clean up on aisle vomit. You know the ones with the cheese in the middle. <laughs> what? Are you, the, 
aren't you from Chicago? I thought that's hot dog capital USA. Like, yeah, nobody. Yeah, so you fucking you honor that shit. You don't eat them raw. Yeah, what but you your mom wait never to said get your, th that salty dog on those taste buds. You can't Bro. wait to, to. First of all, I know you guys weren't even. Yeah, I know you weren't fucking with Vienna beef anyway. So this is no, not as no. These are like ballpark franks, know, if that, so. dude. These are like the twenty, like the twenty-four pack. <laughs> yeah, we're talking Oscar Mayer. Yeah, it's fine. No, my shit is high V brand. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm the local grocery store brand hot dogs. <laughs> Yo, you boil hot dogs. This is a kind of package that has the hot dog flavored water at the bottom of it, and you're just scooping out of it. <laughs> Dude, your mom never said go get a go get a hot dog from the fridge. Go get a cold hot dog. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> look, 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 look. And you'd wrap it with cheese? <laughs> look, well, before I was trying to say, this has, has to stop. This <laughs> has to stop. <laughs> what? I, I don't want to throw, look, I don't want to throw stones in a glass house because my mom's move when she was making hamburgers was she would give me like a little bit of the raw beef, put yep. some salt on it, and I would eat that. <laughs> That's, so that's disgusting. And that's disgusting. That yeah, right that's there gnarly. is way more gross than this hot dog. <laughs> no, that, I'm a man. <laughs> you can't eat them cold. Hot you dogs are pre-cooked. Hot I, dogs I eat raw beef raw. It's, yeah. it's hot dogs are pre-cooked, aren't they? She was trying yes, to kill are. me. Yes. Right, but, <laughs> but look, <laughs> meat is not pre-cooked. I this. was an accident. <laughs> I, she, she was trying to murder me. Oh, baby, no, will you but die? I, I think people used to eat raw, what is it called? Steak tartare, right? It's called yes, steak tartare. But, so, but it's a quality, it's not ground beef. Yeah, or sushi. Listen, listen, sushi. listen. Steak tartare is ground beef. I steak love tartar. Tartar. It's yeah, not it like is. the kind you that make a hot dog from. No, it's the kind you make a burger from. You put an egg over ground beef. Is that That's meatloaf. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's the starts to meet well, exactly. so, I've, been, I've been ordering that at like nice restaurants. Whenever I go out to a nice restaurant, I'm like, ooh, steak tartare. Yeah, let's get – I'm just eating raw hamburger meat, some regular-ass hamburger meat. It's not like higher quality. No, it's like pounded out filet, right? That's what I think. I think it's like a nice steak that they that Producers. They seasoned. Get in the fucking max. <laughs> adults, any adults, no. I guess my point is that it's called steak tartare. What is it called when you eat a cold hot dog out of the refrigerator? Is there it's, any it's, French name for it? Yeah, oh, it's called being Thursday, a youth dog. in the nineties. Oh, Blake's wow, favorite. Yeah, there we that go. is just steak tartare. Is a meat dish Blake, made from you're raw telling ground. Me. Hold up, I'm reading this definition right now. Can I finish? <laughs> steak tartare is a meat dish made from raw ground or minced beef. Uh, or horse meat. Or horse meat <laughs> that is often served with a raw egg on top. So that's the nastiest you've... fucking shit I've ever heard of. Well, you didn't say that word, raw egg. Raw yes, egg. What's it supposed to do? Make my dick bigger? He did. He said that. He he oh, said it. Yolk? I was the yolk. Yeah. <laughs> he said it. I no, was I was unsure. I was unsure if it was raw or cooked when he said it. But he did say egg. No, but he's saying the yolk part. He's the teasing. yolk. I'm having fun, fun of how he says yolk. Oh, oh, I got you. I don't fuck with any of this shit anymore, but I I was a part of the struggle. I did have the raw hot dog, mommy. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! See, in yeah. fact, you, we're like, I mean, oh. we got a little money in our pockets now. Now we're too good for raw hot dogs. I'm I'm actually like ashamed okay. by all of us right now. Uh, honestly, it's never crossed my mind to eat a raw. Or like an uncooked or unheated. That is so hot dog. bizarre to well, me. Well, how man. do how do kids get worms? I feel like this is how kids get worms. Is like you yeah. eat raw hot dogs. <laughs> no, what's worms? what's wrong with a raw hot dog? Because Kyle's talking about drinking the juice out of the bag and shit. No, I just said it's hot dog flavored water. I was quoting Limp Biscuit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, hot dog flavored water. <laughs> uh, I bet that'd be like a, you know, how like they always make like shots that are, that usually people take on like their 21st birthday. They just give yeah. their friend the, gr the grocery shot. That's a funny shot. shot. Uh, yeah. It's like hot dog flavored water. I wonder if that's an actual <laughs> shot. It's like you mix it with gin, bro. And it's actually, it's actually well, just as bad as you'd think. I would say that there, if you may, if somebody invented a gross shot and just called it hot dog water, that's a great shot. I right, love like it. It's funny. You go to the bar. You're like, hey, can I get a hot dog water? And for sure. But it has to have hot dog water in it. For sure. They have it, to have a bag of hot dog yeah. water. Yeah. It's fun. It's also. 
very fun to order. You go up to the bar, you say, can I get hot dog water for me and my buddies? <laughs> Wait, my point is no one's going to be keeping hot dog water at the bar. <laughs> they will if it's their specialty shot. And there are plenty of drinks that are called something that isn't what it is. The thing is, is at the same bar, you can just go grab a hot dog out of the thing and fucking yeah. eat it. You don't even have exactly. to cook it because it's all exactly. good. Wait, hold up. Hold up. Back. What uh, even is happening? hot dog water? Is it the hot dog sweating? Is it like blood? <laughs> <laughs> it's not blood. It's whatever they put well, it in no. so that it doesn't go bad. It's whatever no, 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 they no, no, have. No, no. It's a, pres dog, it's a preservative Everybody, water. Why is this happening? What? Hot it's dog, a preservative dog, water, no. right? No, yeah. hot Get dog water. Finish. Yes, yes, it is. Hot dog water is the water you boil hot dogs in, period. It's oh, not yes, 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 yes. Kyle, you are incorrect. It's not the juice in the package. Yes, I started to buy into what Kyle said. Oh, I thought it was from the bag. No, 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 no. I no, thought no. it was from the bag. No, hot Which, dog water by the way, is yeah, we go no. to the we go to get a at the fucking Cubs game or whatever, wherever you get your hot dog out of the boiling water. That's hot dog water. Sure. Okay. Hey, okay. Sure. That's fine. I'll drink a glass of so, that. That sounds so delicious. So then, what? Sure, what is the fine. what is the mucus in the bag with the hot dogs? That's the preservational. Uh, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's also the hot dog preserves it. That's it's just the probably that... in there for moisture to like keep it slippery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I bet you. Like, I think okay, it like donkey. keeps it cooked, so it's okay to eat. It's like slowly cooking it. Uh, Wait, water. is it our hot dogs? Cooked when you buy them? Hot dogs are cooked when you buy yeah, them. They're yes. 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 They're yeah, they're pre-cooked. Yes, they're pre-cooked. They're cooked. I mean, I think we should check yeah, dog, on that's that. Why, but... That's why it's not gross, and that's why I'm weirded out that you're too good for it. It's just cold. It's, it's fine. <laughs> and I, I'll be honest. I don't like next day cold stuff, like uh, fried chicken the next day. I'm not a huge fan of. I'd rather uh, reheat uh, spaghetti? it. Do you like cold? the spaghetti? I mean, I do like cold the. Uh, Spinach pizza, you guys know that. <laughs> Almost died eating it. You got a bowl or, or E. coli. Yeah, um, <laughs> you got a yeah, oh. Yeah, I, old pizza, great. I like I like my food cold. I prefer it to sit a day before I eat it, if I'm honest. Hmm. All right. Mm. Talk a little well, bit more about that. What's your favorite one? <laughs> for once, he's being honest with us. Yeah. Mm. Let's finally, you're being honest. <laughs> and what is your favorite cold dish, Blake? Yes. Cold dish? I mean... Revenge? Yeah, I'm calling you on your on your favorite way to eat food, <laughs> cold, a day late. I love cold pizza. I love cold pasta. Uh, I love cold yeah, Chinese cold pasta. food. I love cold everything. Cold Chinese, I'll eat everything. Man, cold. Sorry. So you go cold before hot? No. No, I... I mean, I'm gonna. No, you just said you prefer it cold. What? Only on hot dogs. That's what I oh. heard, and I'm just making sure. And Kyle, all of a sudden, is like, "I'm going to protect my <laughs> friend with words." I'm being honest with you, and then you said, "I'm being honest with you. I prefer it cold a day right. later." I oh, all right. I, I'm saying, yeah, you're a dumbass. A <laughs> Thank you, Kyle. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> it's a treat I look forward to the next day, and I often enjoy it more than the first day. <laughs> Is, is everybody okay yeah, with that? Bullshit. Fuck <laughs> yeah. you. Well, that's what. <laughs> yeah, that's my that was my question. I was like, so you like it? Okay. <laughs> I assumed you were talking about that. What'd you say? Nine eleven? What does that say? Nine eleven. Nine eleven. If you ordered like food to come to your house and then you threw it in the freezer for forty minutes <laughs> and then pulled it out, that'd be so tight. No, 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 no. Now, don't get me wrong here, guys. It's I'm, I like it if it just like sits out for a day. <laughs> like not even in the fridge. Yeah, I don't like, want to mean just like. Oh, I I got you wrong. <laughs> Oh, I'm you glad mean? you clarified. I did get you wrong. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, what's up now? <laughs> like, for instance, if you get like fried rice and you don't eat eat it all right the day of, you don't oh, put sure. the fried rice into the refrigerator. You just leave it on the counter in like the box, and then huh. you bust it out. See, this is what I was worried about with this podcast: is that we just we overexpose <laughs> ourselves, and everyone knows they know how they for sure now stupid we are now. Uh, and now they know we just eat raw hot dogs willy nilly. Fuck. Hey, by the way, the Fuck. raw hot dogs thing is going to be you. a thing Fuck. that comes back and bites you because the world over is going to come and say, yeah, we all grew up on raw hot dogs. <laughs> Durs is, uh, is insane for not enjoying well, the splendors of a cold raw hot dog. I, I, you know I think what? you're going to be in the minority of people that are like, hey, we all... We're youths, and uh, we no, all uh, were uh, told to, to just go get a cold hot dog. I would ride a bike to Mustard's Last Stand four blocks from my house and just get a hot dog. Okay, humble brag. What the heck? Yeah, that's tight. That's hey, tight. we get it. You're close to a cool hot dog stand. We get it. Hey, a lot of us didn't. We get it. You grew up in Chicago. Yes. 
the fucking best. Yeah, uh, get to grow up near cool hot dog stands, and we had to eat yeah. cold hot dogs. No, Ooh, not all I would good do, hot dogs. I wouldn't be angry at me. Ones. I'd be mad at your parents. Lisa's hot dogs. <laughs> Shout out to Okey Lisa's dokey. hot dogs. They decided to settle where there weren't hot dogs, and <laughs> yeah, I will say we did have a super good uh, hot dog place in Concord called Lisa. Lisa's hot dogs. <laughs> Shout out to Lisa's hot dogs, baby. <laughs> I think it was called Lisa's <laughs> best hot dogs. Lisa's hot dogs. Ketchup, it's an, ketchup it's and a, cheese dog. Now is it Lisa or Lisa? Because ketchup he, and cheese. Yes, ketchup and cheese dog. It's so. Oh my god. Yes, a cheese dog. You never had a fucking cheese dog. You never had a cheese dog. <laughs> You never had a hot well, dog with some ketchup on it and smothered in grated cheese. You know what else we had? What? You know what other good hot dogs we had? Mm-hmm. Caspers, one with the C and one with the oh, K. Yeah. Really good hot dogs. Well, I'm going to go on a limb and say that uh, even the best hot dog I've ever had. Snappy dog. It's, it's just all fun. They're all fine. It's all okay. What? Yeah. No. I'm never <laughs> like, I'm never well, like oh the- my God, this oh. hot dog. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Did I never make you a Ditka's Italian sausage um, hot Dude, dog ever? Did, never? Is that a big ass hot dog, bro? Can yes. I just I don't, have a, I don't the, believe when so. I went when I went to your house, Anders, you made me one of these, and I housed it. It's amazing. Fucking housed it, and I got the like some fucking crazy sweating happened immediately <laughs> after eating it, like <laughs> insane. <laughs> like my shirt yeah. was fucking drenched. That's the hot dog water. <laughs> you got you got the meat sweat. My, <laughs> so fucking scary, dude. It was yeah. one of the last times I had meat. Like, it's a sodium bomb for sure, but the Ditka's sausages are next level. Oh, I thought I was going out, man. I hear the name Ditka. I associate it with one man. Is it indeed sponsored by Mike Ditka? Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, it's... Uh, yeah. What it's do you mean? Maury Di- no. It's Maury Ditka's sausage. <laughs> well, have to be no idea. This, this is a football coach. This isn't a hot dog guy. Come on. Yeah, Mike... It's Chicago... What are you talking about? It's Mike Ditka. It's but obviously that, Chicago... What, you guys know Mike Ditka to be cranking out sausages? I yeah. know him to put his name on stuff that he sells that's delicious. That is that is wildly Chicagoan, like Italian sausage. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I just wanted sweats. to double check. All right. I, uh, you never know. There could have been Steve Ditka. There's a lot. It's a common name. <laughs> it's uh, Whitney Whitney Ditka. I went to Michael Jordan's Steakhouse. Wait a minute. Hold up. Is this <laughs> is this Michael the, the basketball Michael? player Michael Jordan? Uh, yeah. Whoa! Wait a second. Is this Michael B. Jordan? Wait, Michael J- Michael B. Jordan flipped steaks? Damn. No, oh, oh, buddy. Michael Ditka. All right, all right, already. I might eat one of those cold and, cold and raw or whatever the fuck you guys do. You'd eat a raw. See, now I don't know if those ones are cooked. Like Which are sausages ones? cooked? I think sausages no. are raw. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if they're cooked. I don't know. You can't do it. It's hot dogs. It's just hot dogs. Hot dogs only. Dude. Yeah. Like I, I think it's sausages. the ballpark specifically because I don't know if the Vienna beef joints are cooked. I remember when my mom was like, "Don't eat that one." Like she was, "Don't eat that <laughs> one." Ate it. <laughs> don't no, no, eat no, no. Did you eat that? Ones. <laughs> like there were special ones I could eat and I couldn't. I don't know. I don't do any of the stuff that they tell me to do. Like anytime that, that you know how you're supposed to like wash uh, your produce before eating it, eat it uh, hands down every time. Oh, eat it right. Right. I, I never will. You'll die. Have you ever been to a grocery store? <laughs> yeah, I go. Uh huh. Yeah. So people pick up all the fruit and squeeze and touch and do all that. You should definitely get in the habit of washing yeah, it. Yeah, and then I still eat them uh, 100% every time without washing it. You should and get in yet, the habit COVID of washing free it. since '83. Yeah, yeah. Hit me with the horn. Should, uh, hit me with the horn. Get in the habit. You know, just uh, wash it. That's a lot of stuff on there. There's a lot of stuff yeah. on the outside of it. I'm with you, Kyle. No, but there isn't, and I'm healthy as hell. I'm healthy as a fucking ox. Unless you don't eat it. Like if it's a banana, who gives a fuck because you're peeling it back? You know what I mean? If it's an For avocado, sure. who gives a fuck because you're cutting it back? Which terrifies you. You know what I mean? If mm-hmm. it's got a shell on it, fucking don't mm-hmm. worry about it. But if you're if you're grubbing on the skin of it, you should probably make it a habit to... Yeah, grubbing on skins. Yeah, if you're... Are you... Wait, hang on. Let's get this straight. Uh, let's be honest, as Blake was earlier. Yes, okay. are you, I'd like to are be you, honest. Are you grubbing on the skins, Adam? <laughs> this is uh, a pod about honesty, brother. I do. I... <laughs> 
I would like to be honest right now and say that I stand by what I said. I grub right. on the skins. I sure. eat it all. I never, I never wash it. I eat apples. I eat the whole core of the apple. I don't care. I'm I'm sucking on the stem. You might as well go to the grocery store and just go around licking people's fingers. Yeah. <laughs> but how come? And and here we go. Maybe I'm a conspiracy theorist. Oh, that's theorist. Adam. He says yeah. He, he says yeah. But <laughs> that's Adam Devine. How come I am never sick? You're always sick as yeah. soon as you're like as soon as you rap on anything, you're sick instantly. You know that, correct? No, you that were is, very uh, sick when we made workaholics. You were very sick all the time. Well, mm -hmm. that was because my tonsils. I got my tonsils taken out. Uh, what well, the one thing three years ago, and haven't been sick since. Oh, you have a sixth sense? <laughs> I've never seen the sixth sense. sense. You have a sixth sense? <laughs> Adam, I will say... Um, I've never seen six sense. I'm I pretty seen <laughs> sense. I got my tonsils <laughs> taken out three years ago, and I've never seen six sense. You've never These seen six sense? These are my two claims to fame. I don't really rinse my grocery store stuff either. I I'm going to start just adding that to okay. every sentence I say. Uh, yeah, yesterday <laughs> I went for a drive, and I've never seen six sense. <laughs> just in case. You don't want anybody to spoil it for you. You just throw it out there. And no spoilers. <laughs> Spoilers. So no, please, no spoilers. <laughs> no spoilers. Uh, I haven't seen Six Sense. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> Saw the happening. I'm a big fan. Yeah, like that one. The good stuff. I know it's going to be referenced. I'm just looking for time. I haven't seen Six Sense. Uh, <laughs> we were talking about this a little bit uh, before we started the pod, and uh, Kyle wasn't wasn't with us yet. I was maybe late. I, I was late I'm, today. I'm sorry about that. He was a little late today, but that's okay. But I was. Uh, <sighs> Feel it makes it hurts me. I where I'm gonna get married in Mexico. Oh. They have you are uh, these. Let me ask: Is this cultural appropriation? Okay, I want to <laughs> ask, and I want to know. Usually, if you have to start a sentence this way, it is. go ahead. What's up? It is, or maybe it isn't. Don't know. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> they sell these like dope sombreros, okay, mm -hmm. and uh, they're giant and they're beautiful, hand woven, <laughs> classic. Yeah. They're nice, good stuff. Mm -hmm. If I rock that, is that cultural appropriation? Here, uh, and hear me out. I want a hat like that because I'm in the sun a lot and I don't want to immediately look old as shit. You know? Mm, you know how like right, you see right. like older guys that have been in the sun for years and you're like, oh my God, that guy is 85 years old. And they're like, he's really 52. And you're like, oh, right. Jesus. I don't want that. So a, a giant sombrero would be handy. Is that cultural appropriation? Wait. What? What? <laughs> What else? I mean, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, well, what you else could have you a wearing? cowboy hat. You could get one of those like San Diego sun hats that all the bros wear. Like no, but that's their cult. That that's uh, like a uh, that's what they wore in like Vietnam. Those giant. No, 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 hats. no, not 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 to the point. The like ones that are like just like a sun hat. Mm -hmm. Like it, I don't think it has a country of origin. It's like a surfer hat. It's yeah, a, but uh, what does is a sombrero? Hey, a, I I say I don't know. the The question is personally, I say fuck it, and I think I would look good in a sombrero, and I would like to honor their heritage by having me rock a sombrero for the entire wedding. What's cool to me <laughs> is that you just said. I'm going to say fuck it and honor them. <laughs> Regardless of what anyone says, I'm saying fuck it to honor them. Yeah, and, <laughs> and I think I stand by that. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's actually, that's all you really need to do is ask yourself, why are you wearing this sombrero? And if it is to honor them, it truthfully is, then look. Uh, that's, no, it, truthfully, it's to keep the sun uh, off my face. That's what it, it's truthfully. Uh, yeah, and it's a, I, it's, a, it's a cultural and, hat that's in that area where dope. you're getting... Married hat. the, yeah. I don't know. I there's don't know. one. There's only one reason for a, a white person to wear a Mexican sombrero, mm -hmm. and that is okay. to cover up your Indian headdress that you're, <laughs> that you're that wearing, Coachella. and that you're like, oh fuck, somebody gave me a side eye. Let me just borrow this big sombrero. Well, I will say, good, I'm safe now. <laughs> the one. Okay, we're uh, good to go. I usually have my birthday at my favorite Mexican restaurant, Don Cuco, and I just love them to death, and mm -hmm. they're super nice to me they, over there. They and are great. The last birthday I went to, they put a sick-ass sombrero on my head, like red, like- Oh, I remember that. Yeah, mm -hmm. all decorated nice, and then they're like, you keep that. And I'm like, no way, this is fucking awesome. But yes, way, I will keep it for sure. I'll hang it right. in my house. Mm -hmm. But we went out the rest of the night, and you can't just- pocket a sombrero it's fucking you huge gotta, you gotta wear right, it yeah <laughs> right where are you putting that but what was <laughs> the worst part of it is we went to another birthday party 
a little name drop. Uh, <laughs> LP from uh, Run the Jewels has the same birthday as me. So we went over to his house party, and I'm wearing this fucking uh, sombrero, and mm -hmm. who else ends up being there but Zach De La Rocha from the fucking Rage Against the Machine. So I'm in this party wearing a sombrero, talking to, like... The lead singer of Rage Against the Machine. A true rock star. Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, like, I I felt like such a fucking idiot. Now there's all these, the only pictures I have with these people who I look up to so much, I'm rocking a sombrero and I, I just feel terrible. Well, did they give you any kind of side eyes or were they just like, this guy with his dope ass hat, this guy seems yeah. fun. They didn't say anything, but I still yeah. felt like a fucking idiot. Yeah, that might and just be your insecurities and not at all them. It might they might not have cared at all. You know I, what I mean? Well, I do. I guess I see it as like a form of cultural appropriation. Yeah. But the thing is, now you're looking back. On, okay, so you're looking back on those pictures, mm -hmm. saying like, "Fuck, I shouldn't have worn the sombrero." No, I mean, I can back. I can talk back. Like, I know why I was doing it. Look, I wasn't like trying to be insensitive, but it, I, it, for sure. What's like you're you, if for better or for worse, probably for worse. You, this is wearing a sombrero as a white dude. You're getting lumped in with everyone who does not give a fuck, right? Sure. True. Who True. like Cinco de Mayo motherfuckers represent that. So like, yeah, maybe you just don't wear it because you don't want to be mistaken for that. Or uh, it was one night. It now hangs in my home. I, but yeah, I wouldn't have made the decision to go out like, this is my fucking funny party hat. Hey, uh, guys, well, the entire wedding party, I'm going to gift you all a sombrero <laughs> when you get in. Uh, and we have to wear it the entire week. And I'm going to take all of our wedding pictures in them. So please uh, honor my wishes by wearing this sombrero the entire week. Thank you. Oof. Yeah, I, okay, you go, I think when you're, when you are where you're the plate, like if you're in Mexico wearing a sombrero, I feel yes, like it's like you're good. You're if you good go, to go. To, if you go to Hawaii, you can throw the hang loose in every fucking picture, man. And it's all dope. Yeah, you can rock the fucking. You can rock the lay. <laughs> you're all good. You're okay. in your coconut bra space. When in I, Rome, right? Right. I mean, because uh, but hey, you I'm, know. I'm with you. I think so. I think it's okay to wear. I think it's okay to wear a sombrero while in Mexico, man. I think that's fine. I don't. I don't see why there's. An issue there. Because if someone has a problem with it, they'll just go, no. And you'll go, oh, all right, here. <laughs> right, okay. Maybe take a few pictures, one one with, do a take with it on and a take with it off or something, you know? Just um, for your knows? own. Just cause. Um, yeah. Well, who knows? I might, I might stay. <laughs> hey, tw hey, Twitter, tell us. I might stay uh, <laughs> steadfast with my 100% uh, of all photos in the sombrero rule. You don't want to do. We're not sure yet. Yeah. You don't want to do know. two takes of the wedding on one day? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I think we're gonna just do. It's gonna be like a one take kind of okay, uh, all right. wedding ceremony. Okay, oh, guys, we really got back to one. Back to uh, one. Chloe also has it. Also, we they're gonna be giant. So like the spacing is gonna be all weird of us standing up there. We have to like stand like eight right. eight feet away from each other because these we're all wearing these dumbass giants. You know what though? They're not dumb. They're, that's how they make them. Um, <laughs> yeah. Now you're shitting no, I'm on getting, them, dude. I'm yeah, getting giant it's... ones. I'm getting extra. I'm getting comically uh, large ones. There's no such thing. They're all purposely giant. <laughs> now I'm like, no, wait a minute. If you're getting comically large sombreros, that's not the way to go. Like you need to get to fucking dope ass legit sombreros. <laughs> that's not a sombrero. Hey, that's know. that's a lot of brero. That's too <laughs> yeah, much brero. You need a little less brero. <laughs> that's homie. a whole damn. Is that sombrero? It's too much brero. <laughs> no, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the regular amount of brero. I'm gonna get yeah. a regular amount of brero. Uh, they they do so real classy, nice ones there that I think are all Hand gonna woven. look good. Hand woven, <laughs> uh, look good on my, on my boys uh, as we're uh, sipping Nicknames. our beverages of choice. I mean, uh, look, can you not drink like uh, Mexican? Like that's like, can you not drink tequila? Although homegirl got hemmed up on that, right? No, that that's different. What no, happened? No, but that's that. Well, yeah, what are you talking about? Uh, Kendall Kendall Jenner like made a. Um, she was drinking Pepsi. Yes, but she's starting a tequila company, and everyone's like, you oh. can't. Oh. Oh, but so many have done it before her. Yeah, like, they're I just know. getting on her because she's a mad success. Uh, sure, of course. I don't know. I'm not in charge. Interesting. Look, I've never seen the success. But that's different because, look, at all four of us probably couldn't even tell you what the, like, uh, significance of a sombrero in their culture to is. keep the sun off their face. Yeah, hot sun. I like to think that, but maybe there's different kinds as well. 
like there's ceremonial this ones, this and then there's true. like field worker ones or whatever. Like it, it, there's probably different versions of of said garb. It's not for like, sure. For sure, there is. Mm-hmm. It's definitely like you can have probably your dress up sombreros if you're fortunate yeah. enough to be going to those types of ceremonies and have that. This will be a wedding sombrero, so they'll they'll mm-hmm. be pretty classy, you know. Yeah. And then I'll have other sombreros that are m- more for. Uh, as Blake said, field work. I probably right. won't have you guys be doing any field work the week of the wedding, but that'll be more like lounging pool stuff. So there will be different sombreros for different occasions. You're going to get us out there to pick some grub for you? <laughs> I can't wait to Don't go to Poe and be like, yeah. hey, we need a $10,000 sombrero budget. Uh, I kind of <laughs> promised the guys on the podcast multiple sombreros. Yeah. Dude, they're dope. They're they dope. Look on the, when you wear them on the back, they look oh, yeah. real tight. Like yeah. when you're the band and like you're done oh, for yeah. the night, you just take the hat off and hang a hat. Oof. Oof. Yeah. Oof. So tight. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah some bros nice. are sick, dude. They're sick yeah. ass. What else is fucking dope? <laughs> hey, you want to know? Bro. I don't know if you guys saw me stunting, bro, but check it out. What is oh, that? G-Shock? What is that? Watch. I got my motherfucking that? first G-Shock watch. What up? Wow. I've been wanting this since high school. I finally wow. pulled a trigger. Oh, is that wow, an old dang. one or is that a new one? Brand new G Shock is still in the fucking wow. building. They got new G Shocks out. Oh, dude, it's wow, a whole thing. Dude. Yeah, I had wow. no clue. Wow, dude, and you just you found you had that spare uh, eighty dollars laying around, <laughs> and you were like, "Man, I got to splurge. I got to treat myself." They dude, get kind of expensive now. No, Adam's about right. He's in the ballpark. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> no, but the thing was, is like at least. Back in high school, Kyle, you may be able. Like, this is what I was going to ask about. What, wasn't there something in high school? That's the last time I had a G-Shock watch. Yes, but also we had a whole thing going through our high school where I think yes. allegedly so where Naveed I got it. was like selling bootleg. Who? Our boy what? Naveed back in the yeah. day. He was selling like. Are you blowing his spot up? It, it, this is it's it's what is it? Statute of limitations? Is that what it's called? <laughs> what is it? Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, yeah. somebody in our high school. Anyway, so he sold these watches and killed a kid. <laughs> <laughs> he murdered people. He electrocuted him. We all called him G Shock, yeah. and then he bought the there watch. Was some, yeah, there no, was he was some. selling bootlegs. He shocked him yeah. to death. He was selling bootlegs, and you could tell because, like, the G at the bottom back in the day, his would be, like, upside down or something. And it was mm-hmm. like, oh, shit. shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. I had a red and gray one. Of yeah. a fake what one? a bizarre thing to sell bootlegs of. I had. I thought mine was real. I thought it was real. I thought he just got them somehow. I don't know. No, dude. At our school. No, that's not that bizarre. They're super popular. At our school, they were, like, they were a status symbol for sure. If you had a oh, yeah. shock watch, you were fucking bowling. Well, they mm-hmm. never were that expensive, I thought. I thought they were always fairly reasonable. But for a high school kid, that's expensive. For yeah, sure, like, dude. When you're coming up on like an $80, $100 watch, that's a that's a big look for a high school. That's I mean, huge. I'm eating cold yeah. hot dogs out here, brother. Exactly. I'm just trying to <laughs> fucking <laughs> live, <laughs> man. I had a uh, Timex Expedition, uh, if you guys remember that one. Pretty uh, mm. outstanding mm. watch. Uh, <laughs> had, my uh, grandmother. In, in the glow <laughs> capabilities. <laughs> in the glow. My grandmother gave me a uh she went to uh mexico and got a uh gold sombrero uh, got a gold sombrero (laughs) got a uh gold rolex uh fake rolex oh and gave it to me but i was like i wasn't even in high school i was in like fourth grade damn so then i go to elementary school with this gold rolex on just (laughs) flexing on everybody (laughs) but no also no one cared because they're like uh we're true children i I do not care (laughs) But, right, right. But I had this. I was actually like, man, I wish it like truly turned green like within a year, and I couldn't wear it after that. But uh, I was, I was kind of bummed that I was like, as I got older, I'm like, I wish I had one of those. Yeah, fake Rollies, yeah. Olays, yeah, uh, yeah, sick ass Olay. Do they make <laughs> crazy fake Rolexes that are actually expensive, but because right? they look so real? Maybe that's what I start doing. Maybe because I do really like watches, but like to drop because they get. I mean, Rolexes. Or honestly, just like they're the price of like a, a nice car. So you can. Well, they, they, they start way lower than that. They start around. Jesus fucking Christ. Seven or eight. And then you work your way up. Sure. They, they start at a, a, a fairly shitty car to a really nice car. Right. What and, car? Well, like a used, sure. A used yeah. car. Yeah. And uh, I, I don't see myself going down that road. That does seem like a lot of money. So maybe what I do is I just yeah. get the fake, fake Rolex. Naveed. 
We hit yeah. on a Veed, and he gets me plugged in with this fake Rolex, and then I'll always be flossing. Bro, that was uh, so sick. I like saying that now, so if I ever buy myself a nice watch in the future, everyone's going to be like, yeah, but he says it's fake. It's fake. Right, right. Blake, don't I'm, rob him. It's not real. <laughs> Blake, I'm pumped that you got that G-Shock watch, man. Thanks, I'm, man. I'm pumped for you. I know how much that means to you wow. and, and high big, school us. Like, that's fucking yeah. sick. Yeah. Well, I'm it's proud of Blake uh, <laughs> because Can now he'll it? know the time, mm-hmm. and he'll be, like, punctual and be like, yeah. Yeah. That's what I had to carry. It's like made out of plexiglass. Uh, it's, it's just yeah, something plastic probably. That shit's fucking rad. Thank you. Plexiglass watch. I had to carry around my my digital watch because I couldn't tell time until I was <laughs> very old. You couldn't read either. I know. <laughs> what do you mean you couldn't tell time, dude? These are hey we're, guys, we're all coming clean here. <laughs> well, you didn't know what the the hands did. So you are your dumbest friend. Basically. Of course. Oh, bro. I've always been my dumbest friend. And then I met you guys and I got so and I got so confused. You son of a bitch. I got so confused because everyone would be like, Anders, can you tell the guys to get together? Or like I, I was like, What? Why is everyone looking at me like I have any sort of responsibility? I remember people cheating on me. Dude, it's cause you wore polos and shit. That is true. You wore polos and you wore khakis and people just assume. You had a good business front going on, partner. Kids would cheat off me in school and then we'd get the tests back. (laughs) And then I would like walk, because I would see them like looking over my shoulder and I'd be like, well, this This will be interesting. (laughs) And then I would get like a D or whatever. And then they'd be like, what the fuck? The teacher Uh, probably had to make an announcement like, y'all, uh... Cheated off Durs this week, didn't you? Everybody <laughs> cheated off Durs? Oh, my God. But I couldn't tell time until, like, fucking college. Wow. What's Damn. up? Man, that's wild, dude. That's like... Like the hands of a clock? Stop! Yeah. Right here. Yeah. You could tell time. <laughs> you could tell uh, time. Bro, he just said he couldn't. I know, but I'm not buying it. I'm, I, I kept, listen to me. I, like, skipped the whole thing in elementary school. <laughs> And, and then I just started carrying around. I had a digital watch that I would hang off my belt. But on like the clocks of the <laughs> of the classroom, that those things. Oh, because you had your watch, so you didn't I had give my a watch, fuck. So I never did. Didn't matter <laughs> because you had the numbers. This is so bizarre. I mean, but to be fair, that like being able to tell time is going to be a lost art, right? Because you don't yes. have to anymore. Because you, you don't have, have to. Phone. It's on your phone. You get a phone. Like. Uh, but then, like, my dad was like... It's not going to be a lost you? art, dude. Look, Adam, so what you're doing right now, Adam, my dad did. Because he was like, what time is it? And I was like... I don't know. I don't know. And he was like, and he was like, what are you talking about? Because I didn't have my watch. And I was like, frustrated me so much. I was like, I don't know what it says. And he goes, you don't know how to tell time? And I was like, I just never... I mean, I know the long hand. <laughs> and then he goes, okay. And he, like, sat me down... And like, okay. so if I look at a clock, <laughs> it takes me so long to go, okay, like three, three forty, uh, three forty seven, or whatever it is. <laughs> 15, 15, 30. Whereas you or somebody else will just look at it and be like 347 immediately. Uh huh. Oh my God. <laughs> That's wild, man. That is wild, dude. But now you have. Like a nice watch, uh, you wear a nice now watch. Now I, I do. I have. Now, a, I have a Rolex. Motherfucker, and I, I can tell time now, baby. And well, I, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> when you look at that Rolex, does it take you a really long? Like you spent a lot of money on this Rolex. Yeah. Is it just jewelry? Are you able to use it feel, as a watch? It is ninety nine percent jewelry. Wow. <laughs> and point five percent, um, just like. It's. I mean, yeah. It's barely a watch. It's barely a watch. <laughs> yeah. What well, was that going to be? There was going to be at last one uh, percent. <laughs> there was going to. be You split it into two. I was trying. No, I was trying to say it was going to be like less than one percent of me using it as a watch. Right. But like, right. what's funny is I, I. So I got an Apple Watch Sick. too, and I have it on the like the hands face to make me practice. <laughs> Looking at a clock. Uh, yeah, bro. This is cool. We found out the uh, the title of this podcast is Anders Can't Tell Time. That's uh, incredible. There's only know, like two parts to telling time, too. It's like the, there's three, I guess. The hour, oh, the yeah. minute. I can't. Uh, don't the fucking it. seconds if you're fortunate enough. It's a whole. You are so dumb. I have. I can't even. I'll go, I'll go down the road. Like the months of the year. 
Oh no! What's wrong I with the months of the year? I didn't bro? know those until <laughs> I was like until I was like eighteen. <laughs> what do you, you mean, so homie? This is like, not. This is now. You're just having fun with us, right? <laughs> I swear no, to God, I swear. I don't, this is I don't know Dirge to be a lion man. This is not me doing this for entertainment at all. This is okay. not like okay. why would I bring, why would I make this? I was up? just why checking. In. I'll be, be softer. Well, here's here's what I think about. I'll be softer. Well, love <laughs> about Durs is I think Durs is a really smart person. I also think Perfect. he digs. He, I think he digs his. Oh, what did he say? I think he digs his heels in. And I bet in elementary school when they were talking about time, he was he was defiantly and was like, "Fuck you! I'm I'm taking pride in not knowing time." That's what no, I think happened. Right? I don't even know how to tell time. No, no, no! I was never. Oh no, dude! I was never <laughs> stoked on not Norman. knowing time. <laughs> well, then why didn't you just learn? I I because I do not believe that you were are this dumb because I, I know you and I think you're a pretty smart guy. I think I hey I don't disagree with you. I'm borderline. <laughs> What stopped you from figuring it out when you were, say, 13? Who, like, <laughs> is that what you were doing? Just going back to things that you never learned? No, I mean, like, but what the fuck? You, so I'm just, th I'm, these are years I we're talking about. Years of, I know. like, of, like, I don't know how to wear, I don't know how to, how to tell time. I have to wear my little, <laughs> my digital clock on my belt. Yes. And then everybody else sees that and they know, right. and I'm not going to anybody for help. I'm just living with that fact and I'm okay <laughs> with that fact and I can't change it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I, dude, I'm telling you, I got, I got shit. Shit sucks. But for the months, the months of the year, <laughs> like the? February, it was like, I didn't, January, February, March. Stop. Is that right? That's what it is. <laughs> Yeah, that okay. was always confusing to me. And then as far as <laughs> after July, the whole um, <laughs> it's a blur. August, September, October, 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 <laughs> October November, like he all almost of that. forgot. No, I didn't. I didn't. Just, I swear oh to God, I know God. now. No, I mean, but I, I never I knew understand. the order of the um, of the. Uh, so every month was like a new surprise to you. They'd be like, "Ah, it's October," and you're like, "What?" I do. I, I oh. kind of. <laughs> I see this a little better because crazy. So what happens in October? And they're like, this one, like football games happen. You're like, oh, sick. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I didn't. I like, yeah, it was a whole thing. It was a whole thing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, I mean, I think we all are dumb. And, we all are dumb in certain ways. It was a whole thing. Admittedly, we are a very dumb crew in, in certain <laughs> ways. Uh, I didn't realize that Durr's ways are... <laughs> <laughs> Pretty common knowledge ways. I thought they were different. Um, I mean, I yeah, can't spell well. <laughs> at all. And my handwriting is so... I'm like, I have, you know... as We ate raw hot dogs, but motherfucker, you can't tell time or know what month it is, so... I mean, hey, time's a concept, so... Uh, yeah, that's that song. What, who sings that? It's Chicago? just a concept. Uh, <laughs> Which one? Does anyone really know what time it is? Is that what we're talking about? Does anybody really know what time it is? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what that's is true. That? Does anyone really know what time it is? Yes. Yeah, and then the next line is, does anybody really care about time? What are you guys talking about? And that's Chicago. Dude. It's a Chicago song. And Durs is from Chicago, so he took, he when, took it. When we would do, <laughs> uh, for swimming, you use like a, uh, like a, like a, a giant stopwatch clock, right, on the side? Yes. Sure. So we had that, but then we also had the digital clock. When the digital clock was bumping and we had to do like, 10 whatever's on like 115. <laughs> Adam just left the chat. He's Adam's so pissed. <laughs> um, I would be like, okay, cool. It like tells you where, like when to go. It'll, it'll beep. But when it was like just a regular 60 second clock, I would be like crunching numbers and doing math in my head while I'm swimming. Like, Fuck. I don't know when to fucking go. So I would always go to like the back of the lane and just let somebody else do the counting and shit, and then I just go five seconds behind them. Is oh, that so why you, you were fast? Because you didn't know how fast you were going? You were just swimming <laughs> no, until I, your heart exploded? I think, if anything, I could have been faster if I knew Ooh, how to tell time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, and could go fast and train a little harder, but I always had to let somebody go ahead of me because I would just like get so lost uh, trying to keep track of time. Man, this is the only motherfucker who would get lost going swimming straight. 
Do you feel me? <laughs> Do you feel me? God damn, damn homie, and that's wild. Learn yeah, something new I, every day. I truly thought Adam left because he was so mad because I have never seen Adam's face so disturbed and angry due to the fact that it was like Adam was doing time. math. He was getting salty. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Adam that, has I long mean, division. You have yeah, time. Yeah, that's me and math. You have time. Uh, I'm just both dumb. numbers. You guys both are like fuck numbers. Yeah, straight I up will and down. say fuck numbers. I fuck do hate, numbers. I do hate mm-hmm. numbers. Uh, and also, I was as I was saying when I uh, my internet went out a second ago. Uh, my handwriting, <laughs> I can't not spell at all, <laughs> and my handwriting is so fucking bad yeah. that like as a comic, I'm always writing in notebooks, trying to think of new bits and ideas that are like half cooked ideas that you just write something down in. And I've lost a notebook before. And I had my number in the, in the notebook and the person called me and I was too embarrassed to go get the notebook because I knew that they were going to read my handwriting. I was or, like, or not nah. be able to read oh, it. Oh yeah. I now mean, you keep, you keep that. That's all but good. They, <laughs> but, they, but wait, but they, so they didn't know it was you. They just saw the phone number in there. They just saw the phone number and they just called, didn't know who it was. Right. And I was just like, yeah, no, it's all good. I don't need that notebook. And then I wish like, I had the notebook. But they're like, can I use that yeah, butt chugging bit? Just, yeah, you should have just <laughs> yeah. went and got your jokes back. You just they're gave like, somebody oh. all the jokes. Yeah, they're like, it's a lot of butt chugging. Uh, <laughs> every Are page is really, <laughs> it's just butt chugging question mark, butt chugging Whoa. hearts around it. Uh, please work on butt chugging yeah. bit. Little pep talks to myself. <laughs> So uh, the other day I was uh, butt chugging. Yeah. More butt chug crowd work. Yeah. I, I, it would be great if you did see all somebody over butt chug. doing your material. And you're like, fuck. Yeah, some like, open mic comic just comes in real hot with just uh-huh. like 20 minutes of new new butt chugging bits. And Lorne Michaels is like, I want we him on my show. He's got we something got different. I've never I heard the heard butt those chugging types guy. Of butt chugging bits. I love that your Larry the Cable Guy get her done was butt chug. <laughs> <laughs> and you might need to butt, butt chug. chug. <laughs> if you if ever not been chugged, able to tell time. Have you ever butt chugged hot dog water? <laughs> <laughs> what do we do with it? Yummy. We butt chug it. <laughs> we oh, butt boy. chug it. <laughs> what would happen to you if you butt chug? Hot dog water. <laughs> Nothing. You'd be oh, totally fine. Fuck. You'd be hey. fine. I don't know. <laughs> Adam if had that put, answer so quick. No, actually, I don't nothing. know, dude. I don't Wait. know. That's a lot of sodium. Nothing you probably actually. shit your fucking brains out because it's like an enema. No, I yeah, think that would probably, probably feel good afterwards. You'd shit your brains out. It'd be awesome. No. I Ooh, think it would be so spray. strong. I you think would the spray. salinity would fuck your butthole up, dude. Well, that's basically <laughs> the, the, the salinity. salinity. But that's oh, basically hey. what it is. Salinity the salt. Yeah, the salt. Dog, you can't make up fake words. and this is science class. Come on, oh, this is science. It's science? Oh, it's this, science. <laughs> this is science. It's science. <laughs> That's uh, chemistry. Hey. Salinity. That <laughs> is the amount do... of salt in water. Yes, and I think that that Blake just to finish that real quick. I think that's what an enema is—is is salt water. So I think that's why you would shit your brains out. Is it? That was where I. Yeah. Well, I believe so. If we ever do a live uh, podcast, <laughs> I which I think we should someday, I think we should all do a live podcast when we can all get together. I think it'd be really fun. Mm-hmm. We do a, a big live podcast event. We got to uh, butt chug hot dog flavored water. Hot dog water? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have to. <laughs> no flavored water. Yeah, not actual. Uh, yeah, no, I'm I'm out. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Oh, pussy. Apologies. You're not? Apologies. Okay. You know what? Then Party I guess we pooper. won't do it. Because if yeah. you're not going to do it, then yeah. we won't do it. Forget yeah. it. All right. <laughs> yeah, my apologies. I'm sorry. All right. One of us is out. Then the rest of us is out. That's okay. Yeah. So- I was ready to do it if everyone was in. but <laughs> I think everybody was ready to do it. And then Kyle backed out. And that's I'm fine. so sorry, Anders. I know how much you wanted to do that and how much I'm <laughs> pissed you'd out. betraying that. And is that you. because you're a vegan? Like you don't want to do it because you're vegan? No. No, it has nothing to do with that. I'm just... Just not Can gonna... you butt chug veggie hot dog water? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you allowed to? <laughs> what? Can I put the hot dog water in? As a vegan, can you butt chug hot dog water? Uh, I don't think you could. I I don't think so. I Is don't that think breaking you could. Edge? Well, I think I don't think that's you're putting uh, animal byproduct. Kyle, are you vegan? No, or I'm a vegetarian. Vegetarian. But no matter uh-huh. what, we're talking about uh, hot dogs, <laughs> so <laughs> it doesn't really matter. I uh, think you're good to go. Yeah, but it's not. It's not. Hot dogs. It's just the water. 
Yeah, but mm-hmm. I would imagine that that is still an animal byproduct. And if you're a strict kind of vegan or vegetarian, uh, you're not putting that in your body. Mm-hmm. Are, but, are yeah, you, but it's not. It's not. Well, in for your, me, it's it, just up your butthole. Yeah. For me, it, yes, in your body, inside of your body. <laughs> the butthole um, of your body? Okay, what right, if you the butthole do it? that's c- attached to your body and connected to it's one of the. What if you do a water balloon of hot dog water up your right. ass? Wait, hang on. <laughs> no, but also, the thing or, is, is not, this has nothing to do with. So it's about being in your body? What if you had a pink sock? <laughs> Your your asshole right, came right. out of your asshole, and then oh, we and filled that with it? hot dog water, so it's mm, outside of your body. Good point. Or you dip the you dip the pink sock in hot dog flavored yes. water. Can yes. we do that? Squat. Can we do that? I don't know. I think that that's still going to at some point suck back up into your body. Okay. Well, remember, right. this is for so, the live show. Yeah, we got to do something special. Can we, can we do that for the live show? For can the live, I'm not doing it. I'm not. Okay, putting that, then I'm we're not, all out. <laughs> then we're all out. Oh, I'm sorry to it. be the guy. Oh, man. I had the butthole out. And I hate to be the guy. It's just yeah. you know, That's you guys will think, yeah, you'll think. That sucks because we were all we were all in. <laughs> that but. sucks because we were gonna do a live hot dog water <laughs> butt chug, and you yeah. just fucking. Well, I that's on it. you, though. Hey, fans, t- if you uh, want to blame anybody for not seeing us live butt chug hot dog flavored water, yeah. that's on Kyle. That is on that Kyle. Be- and wow. you know we're what, sorry though? about that, but it is what it is. And Kyle, uh, if yeah, you want to yeah, kick this up? off, if anybody has any apologies or take backs, you got a take back? Oh, man, I have. Yeah. Uh, I have take some back? Would you like to yeah, take Yeah, I guess I'll take back? something back. I mean, I guess I thought about it for a couple seconds, and if my dudes really want to, you know, put on Butt Chug Show at one of our live podcasts, <laughs> and it's kind of up, up, you know, they're they're down with it, and they're down to go, I will go forth. You what? <laughs> I will go, go forth. What? Forth. <laughs> forth. So first it will be the three of you. Like, I'll go first. You'll go I will, go, also go. I will go forth. <laughs> or you're going to go last in the... <laughs> I'm going to go last. <laughs> Like oh, you guys are all gonna go first, and I'm gonna go last when we do this nah, live one. Yeah, well, I, I just know. think that I'm not. I'm not buying it. I think I would be a powerful finish. I think it would be powerful to Is have that- a vegetarian because you'd have to come over your vegetarian roots. Yes, I think the story of mine. I'm gonna try and thread it throughout, and then you know, really. Mm-mm. Well, take imagine it home. the T-shirts we could sell of an arugaloid, our arugaloid cartoon character. Right. I'm really gonna take it home. That uh, taking a butt chugging. Just- uh, hot oh, dog flavored I, enema. I mean, they they would like, fly I think, off the vig- uh, digital shelves. Trust me, trust me. I'm gonna bring it home. You you put me in the fourth position. I'm gonna really bring it home. I'm think still about, stuck on you saying powerful finish. That's fucking disgusting. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a very hey, powerful finish. With I saw the, that was a powerful finish. I saw the di- this important dude's butt chug hot dog water live, and all I got was this stupid T-shirt. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we got the merch. You know what though? It's got to have a splash on it, like those Alcatraz shirts that are like ripped with blood. It's oh, got like butt best. chug water on it, like splashed. Wow, this is gonna be fun. Huge, huge for us. I had a shark attack shirt as a kid that would, it just said shark attack and there's blood all over it and then like a hole in the side as if a shark bit it. Mm. That's tight. And dang. Yeah. I, uh, I miss that shirt. You grew out. The of first it. time I saw that, <laughs> yeah, I thought that shit was up. real. The first time I saw it, I was, I was like, well, we've established Whoa, you were a pretty like, dumb what child. Happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't hide from that. I had a cool hat that said, I hate seagulls, and then there was a bunch of, like, fake poop all over it. That shit was hard. I got that, that on the fi- yeah. That's good. Fisherman that good. Wharf. Dang. How do you hey. not have that? Mm. I lost it in the fire. <laughs> what? What fire? <laughs> what my fire? mom's fire sale when she sold all my shit. Garage sale. <laughs> oh, Forget them. That's the yeah. worst. <laughs> Selling uh, old shit. I'd like to take back uh, kind of really, and I don't think I was vis- uh, verbalizing um, my grief when Doris was talking about the, uh, you know, not being able to tell time. Um, but, and I, I was given, I was throwing a lot of looks and they were judgmental <laughs> looks. And I will say that, but, um, Durs, you're not one of my dumbest friends. That would be, uh, Blake and Kyle. <laughs> fuck and you. yeah, what the <laughs> fuck, fuck is you. that about? Fuck you, um, I, I could tell time and I could fucking, I know every month. Yeah, and so that's why I was show, I was throwing you looks. I was like, what's going on? Nate, oh, you know every month? And let's hear I know every month. Every month. Hey. I know oh, every month. Oh, good for you. Okay, is March a month? March is a month, yes, okay, sir. Okay, you got that one. Okay, uh, okay, yeah. And I know the other ones, November. April? Is April a month? <laughs> April. Is that a month? April? November. 
Hmm? Movember? <laughs> Movember is very real. <laughs> yeah, Rocktober. But I'd like to take that back, uh, Durs, um, for, for throwing you shade. You were just a, a little kid having trouble with, um, you know, kind of basic things that kids that kids learn. He wasn't a little kid, dude. Look. When when you I left got... the conversation, he admitted that this was in college. He was swimming. He still yeah. couldn't tell time. It was really sad. Yeah, it's kind of a big admit. I'm I'm. Well, that is sad, <laughs> and I'm glad you've you've overcome that. And I'm glad that you have uh, uh, a piece of jewelry that you wear that you are able yeah. to now look at and and work on your your time. Yeah, telling skills. Time By the way, uh, no skills. <laughs> The, it's like a GMT or whatever, so it's, it tells like three different time zones, and it's just a, uh, it's a shit show. I mean, you you really, I don't even wind it. <laughs> <laughs> I do love I don't I do love when I'm winding it. I'm like, what am I doing? Who what cares? am I even doing? It doesn't matter. It's just supposed to be pretty. Oh my uh, god, uh, Blake, Kyle, any take backs, apologies, <laughs> uh, epic slams? What's going on here? Mm, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I actually want to compliment Durs for being forthright with his yeah. <laughs> with his uh, inabilities to tell time when he was a child that. and all that. I thought that was cool. Disabil Window. It's a disability, not an inability. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, your disabilities. It was, it was really, um, you know, nice to hear that, man. Thanks for opening up. That was it great. Nice. Now I, I understand why you've been buds with us <laughs> more and more yeah, each time. You guys you know? knew how to tell time, and I was like, I'm going to stick with these guys. Yeah, we made you well, feel Well, we're all dumb you know? in, our, in our own special ways. <laughs> we're so and dumb. We're all so dumb. And I always kind of thought Durs was kind of the smart one of the crew, and it's nice to know that he's just as big of an idiot as the rest of us. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Um, Can I say thank you to you, you guys? You can uh, say what? You know, thank can I thank say thank you to you guys? You may yeah, say thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, I got a lot of shortcomings, and uh, <laughs> when I'm when I'm with you guys, I feel like I'm coming long. Hey baby, sixty nine, hey. dudes. Hey Durs, thank you. <laughs> yes, thank um, you and for that. I would like to <laughs> thank compliment. You very much. I would like to compliment Kyle and Adam, my brothers in raw hot dogs. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, uh, yeah your brothers in raw hot dogs and time telling. <laughs> I can't wait to butt chug on stage with you guys. Good luck with all that. It's time to eat some raw hot dogs, dog. It'll be an honor to share a stage and butt chug hot dog flavor <laughs> Flavored water with you. You're Ooh. going first, bud. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll be the freaking out the gate, dude. Fine. And you're going to be wearing a sombrero while we do it. <laughs> well, I'm well, down. I don't know. Wait, so when it's cold, when you're, <laughs> is it like, uh, it's like refrigerator cold? <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, it could be, yes. well, yes, maybe it's it's could be sitting cold. out. It could be sitting out. <laughs> Maybe this sack of hot dog meat <laughs> sat out in the sun for a little bit. Do you rinse it off first? No, no we don't. We establish no. we don't with rinse that wet, it. That wet juice. That wet. <laughs> that wet wet. Yeah, it's just salty deliciousness. <laughs> wet, oh, wet juicy. Y'all put the wet wet on it. Yeah, we eat it with the full salinity. <laughs> I like how it started off with Durs being very judgmental of all of us loving cold hot uh -huh. dogs at, in our youth. And then we found out that he couldn't tell time till he was 25 years old. Yep, there there let me is get, a let lesson me get this here, straight. people. Let me get this straight. <laughs> if you told me you only had raw hot dogs available to you, I'd go, God, that's tragic. That's horrible. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but you had <laughs> other options, so I'm judging you. No, I couldn't man. tell time. It's not like I could tell time <laughs> and and didn't. And you like, if I told you guys. Wait, what other options did I have? I knew how to tell time, but I refused yeah. to look at clocks. No, hold Please on. Please explain then to me what, what other options me. did tell I have. Tell me what options Kyle had, dog. What options did Kyle have? What other options? What was in my fucking fridge? Bitch, I know y'all had Triscuits <laughs> at the house. I know you had Triscuits. Wheat Thins. I've been to your house. That's a white family with some Wheat Thins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we hey, had Wheat Thins. Oh. That's for chicken sure. in a biscuits. Do y'all remember chi oh, chicken, in yes, chicken, in so chicken, chicken in a biscuit? Chicken in a biscuit. Chicken in a biscuit. That was some white people cracker shit. What was that like? Um, Jimmy Dean, Jimmy Dean's, or what? No crackers. No, it's like a Ritz cracker sp sprinkled with like chicken flavoring. It was gnarly. It My was mom good. fed us. It's good. Oh, Treat Dude, yourself I'm next you. time. Buy a box for the family. It's a Ritz cracker. It tastes like chicken, chicken flavoring on it. It's yeah. a little yes. different than Ritz, but yes. Oh, so it wasn't a Ritz brand. No. Okay. No, I'm no, sorry. No, no. Okay. Nabisco, but it's I like, believe. Might be yeah. It was called Chicken in a Biscuit? Yeah, yes. dude. And that's very good. We were a club family. Uh, <laughs> Nabisco Club. 
<laughs> hey, man, you got to re- reach upward, you know? You got to go for it. But this, this was down and dirty. Maybe it's uh, Adam and I's Iowa background. My compliments to you guys for opening my eyes. It might be. It might be our Iowa background. Yeah, and, raw uh, hot dogs. And this and- was a pretty important <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Episode of of what? This is important. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is important. This is important. <laughs> and it was. Yeah.